I'm reeling in one of these buttons and I'm tapping you, you're risking this happening. You know that stupid reason to throw them when I'm reeling in a big bit. You know they can just go everywhere. You know better. Like with me standing. All right, guys, first fish of the day about a 15 pound big head. Just let me know if I'm like at the right height and if I take up the whole screen or from too far away. I kind of want to get an idea because I don't know. Because it shows the screen on there. You'll get an idea if I'm just right or if I'm too close. Too far away, too high, too low. You're fine. About right? Mm -hmm. right Go guys, on this about, side. Yeah, like about that. a 15 pound big head, guys. Yeah. On a four inch white fluke.
White bass anyway, not a hybrid, but it's a white bass. Look at that. White bass. One even one minute, the gar bit my damn tail off again of these things. I only got five left. Alright guys. Nice little white bass. About 13. It is on, right? The screen. Does it show the screen on? Yeah. Okay. Uh -huh. Don't do it. You're going down. guys nice little flathead once again my fifth one this year from here and always on a grub except the one was from a crankbait you said I kind of got to go over like this eh. love catching these cats on these lures guys it's fun Nice little flatty. Heck yeah, man. another white bass still yet to get a hybrid but at least we're getting white a few here and a few there third one I think White bass number three. There's another flathead, this time on a worm. I'm giving worms a chance, trying to get a bigger anything, just something different maybe. And uh, it didn't take too long. Oh, he 
swallowed the crap out of it. Pliers. I need the pliers. It's way down there. if I can even hit it. About three pounds. Not a bad one. For a worm anyway. Real dark. Real dark flathead. Heck yeah. I'll take them all day. Alright guys, Wilma is on a Asian carp here. God, even the fucking dip net got damn mud on it. right there up uh, there you go a little bit that way a little bit forward there you go yeah he's pretty big man 20 pound yep a little more no i meant a little longer okay. it. a little bit up like six inches there you go that's too easy. A little bit backwards. That way. Okay, right there. Good job, hon. Or right, I'm going to try a worm again. Uh -huh. Just throw it where it's supposed to go in the bank. Oh, yeah. All right. Got something. Oh my gosh, big red ear. No, war mouth. Holy cow. Wow. Man, look how big he is. Wow. That was a very unexpected catch, but now the plants, it kind of makes sense. Wow, guys. Just caught an eight inch war mouth on a storm smash shad of all things oh my that is a nice warm mouth all right do not move nice warm mouth guys i'm really impressed with that i did not know they were even in here that really helped That really helps. My goodness, that's a nice warm out. Heck yeah. yeah. He's every bit of eight inches. Oh my. I thought it was a big red ear at first. Can you believe that? And you keep getting hung. You're not reeling it in fast enough. For the half ounce jig head, you gotta really get with it after it falls two or three seconds. Well, one last look. Man, heck yeah. Can you believe that? I did not know that's what I'd be catching. That helps. It ain't real horrible of a day, I guess. He bit a crankbait, a big crankbait. 
It ain't a little crankbait. I can see the bottom. has nice ones too. All right guys, another largemouth on the smash shad. Seems to be working. This is a really dark fella here. On that clown, he's real dark green, almost black. I just heard a fish behind us. He's a little better, he's about 11. That ain't bad. All right, guys, on the four inch white fluke with a half ounce Strike King jig head. He's, he's almost, yeah, he's off for a pound. Man, he inhaled this thing, man. Look at that. Barely, barely see the jig head. The key is to throw it toward the bank, but be away from the bank where you roll it down the hill. I was twitching it and hopping it. No danger of him breaking the line. It's not a 17 pound line. Not a bad bass, guys. A little better. I'm totally away from anywhere to fish. <clears throat> that is a little better. They keep getting bigger. All three of mine got bigger each time. Uh, he's, he's a full 12 anyway. Don't move. Don't make any movements. All right, guys, 12 incher. Not bad population if I caught that many already they may not God, I'm zooming just enough to get a good picker a picture of you good job honey heck yeah you got a bigger one than I did now <laughs> you beat me for largemouth anyway sure did That ain't a bad bass. <sighs> Not bad at all, guys. Heck yeah. Man, that helped. Right? Close to the bank or far away or... About as big as my hand. About like the ones in Naylor. 
That means there's bigger ones in here though. Oh yeah, crappie. All right guys, crappie. Little white crappie, about six inches. We did not have that bad of a day, really, if you count all the species we caught. Alright, little guy, but hey, it's a crappie. Alright, largemouth guys, another small one. There is big ones in here, though, we've learned that. We have learned. We didn't have a bad day in this little lake, guys. It's an 87 acre lake. Very secluded. No roads lead to it. The only way to get to it is dragging the canoe about 300 yards through the woods. No boats can get in here. Nobody can fish it from the bank, really. So, very low pressure. Alright, now they're yeah, 11 inch maybe. They seem to like this clown today, guys. Clown smash that. That redhead and charger's back on. Alright guys, Wilma was letting her jig hang over the side of the canoe. It was hanging down in the water a couple feet while she was taking a crappie off the hook. And caught a half decent bluegill. Actually show us with the jig still in it. I'll just have to zoom, I guess. First kind of that kind. Hold on. Turn more. There we go. Good job. That's a nice one, actually. Yeah. Bent the pole pretty good. God. Uh, what if the stripers are biting now? <laughs>